Hi everybody, it's Cindy Cashmere at C2C in my studio today and we are um, going to show you Rana Alexander's uh, encaustic landscape paintings uh, along with a special flash sale just for you. Um, so Rana creates these lovely encaustic paintings. Now this is wax. And what she does is she melts wax that has different colors in it and she builds up layers of information using different tools that I'll show you today and creates these lovely landscapes. And I've tried to do this and it can be rather difficult. Um, this little guy is named Terra Firma. And when I look at it, to me it looks like it's the sun rising or setting um, over a hillside. To me this is, um, I think of a long, looking at a field long distance out into the horizon. And um, I think this would be a really pretty little painting in just a tiny little place. Um, so this one is $145 and it's four by four. This painting is called Terra Firma 27. And to me, again, this is just a lovely little landscape. What story does it tell you? Um, I love this green and blue, and then this horizon line, and then her sky. It's just so pretty. It looks like a wonderful spring day. The one thing, too, about her paintings is that um, she uses re purpose wood. So she uh, came in contact with a couple different artists in the Detroit area that take buildings um, or use the wood from buildings that are being torn down um, and abandoned, uh, that type of thing, and then repurposing the wood and creating these little frames. So each frame is different, and uh, but it tells a story. This is called Meadow. And doesn't it look like it could be a field of poppies? Uh, think about the poppies that you see a lot, um, say in Fenville right now. Um, or maybe you're somebody who just loves uh, pinks. And I'm gonna bring this up close. You see all the different layers of colors and cutting through and bringing back out. And this little line right here I just think that's really amazing. It's not muddied. It's just another layer of information. I love what pulls out there. And here's another one, terra firma. It's kind of, you know, relating to our landscapes and the land and our, um, you know, just different parts of our country. I think this um, can work in any style of home. It could work uh, in a uh, bedroom, in a hallway, in your kitchen. Um, it could go in the bathroom. And it feels wonderful. No glass over it. It's a wax. So I wanted to show you. Um, there's these companies um, that create waxes for us that um, are already formulated with colors. And so what you would do is, we have these little bins. You could use tuna fish cans and put water in the pan, put it on a hot plate. And so you'd always have water. You have to be well ventilated, um, maybe even outside. Melt your waxes. And see, I have different colors that I could use. And then, um, you can add beeswax. Now, Rana has bees, and she uses the uh, uh, beeswax from her own bees to add and create her own encaustics. And so you would start with a board that's like this. And what it is is it's a fine layer of clay. Um, you could do it actually on other types of services, but this is one that is liked by most encaustic artists. And then... These actually have uh, cutouts of paper or a decal underneath, and then wax of green, yellow, um, and then a cut through and drawn of 
wax life circles but you can build up layers you can see that and this is just a real simple little example of what you can do with encaustics and then you use brushes um, that are not real expensive brushes but that um, because the wax is really hard on them so you'd put them in and you'd bring them onto your surface and then let it, it will set up and then you could um, use an exacto knife and you could cut into it and do a pattern and then you could lay more wax onto it and then you could take a so like this is an iron that gets plugged in and gets very hot and you could move the wax around with this or you could use a palette knife and move it around. And the other thing that uh, a lot of encaustic artists use is a paint gun. So you'd melt it and you would move the wax around until it uh, got to a pattern that you would thought was uh, pleasing. And then, let's see, did I show you this one? Look at this one. It almost looks like it's marbled or it's a hillside that has different types of trees growing on it. And it's a day that's, maybe it's hazy. Maybe it's really, really, really hot like the days are right now um, in Michigan. And uh, this little guy is $145. And uh, again, all of these paintings are being, um, excuse me, any paintings that are purchased now through July 5th, um, the proceeds will be donated to Color of Change. Color of Change is a national organization that, look at this, this is beautiful, look at that little line of pink. Color of Change works with corporations and city units to help uh, how they handle racial tensions or possibly help um, someone who feels that they've been handled, um, interacted with people incorrectly or that they've been taken advantage of and they will rally together and help do things um, the right way. Um, so Rana uh, may have worked with this organization in the past and she is through July 5th donating all of her proceeds to Color of Change. So you get to uh, get a lovely landscape painting and you would also be helping um, a nonprofit. This painting reminds me of being out on the lake and seeing land and then a really hazy, maybe foggy day. I think this is just a lovely painting. Again, it's called Aqua Four. This is such a little cutie. I'm gonna bring it up real close. Look at all of the detail. This is like bubbles. It could be landscape, trees, the sky. Who wouldn't like this uh, hanging in a bedroom? Another thing that I would do, I'd hang these in a series of three. Wouldn't that be great? Look at that. These two definitely relate to each other. I'm just going to see if I can find another one. Check this one out. I love this. I love orange. Orange and green. Tell me a location where you think you've seen this before. Paintings always, if the painting speaks to you, it's because there's something in your past that um, you go, oh my gosh, we were here, or I want to go there. Maybe it's the hills of Ireland. This is $95, and all of the proceeds will go to Color of a Change. Look at this one. This reminds me of water, wild water. A storm on Lake Michigan, a storm in the North Atlantic. Maybe it's just the waves uh, from being down in the Caribbean and it reminds you of being on a boat. Who doesn't need this? And look how lovely and quiet this one is. Oops. Yeah, is that better? Look how lovely. This is just quiet. Wouldn't this be beautiful in like your office or a quiet reading room, a library? This one is called 
Atmos, and it's eight by eight inches, and it's three hundred and twenty-five dollars. This would be beautiful in a beachfront home. Now this painting's a little darker, um, but look at all the layers. Look at the marbling and the bubbles. Couldn't you just take a wander? What if you were to walk up these, what if this was a hillside and a mountain and you got to the top and you saw just a little glimpse of the sun? This painting is also really lovely. It's called Terra Firma Number no. 4. And doesn't this just look like fleeting clouds? I love her textures. I love how this is the bottom quarter, and then the middle two, uh, uh, half, and then another quarter. This is a really nice composition. And this piece, I'm hoping you can see it, she actually scratched through the lines in the wax and then the black comes up to the top. And then just the variations of color in the top two thirds. This is a pretty one also. Now this encaustic painting, I just think this looks like fall to me. Doesn't this look like a big field, like maybe a wheat field or a farmer's field and it's things that have dried and are just the sticks possibly. And then off into the distance, the field where you don't get to see the specifics. So here it's real close and this is farther away. And this could be over another rise and it could be um, tree line and then out into the distance, just a rise. And then the sky with all the different things going on in it, you've got dark and you have light and you have fleeting clouds. I just think that looks like a beautiful autumn day. This is six by six inches and it's $225. All of these paintings are online and uh, you can learn more about Rana on our website, which is C. 2C, so letter C, number two, letter C gallery.com. Um, have a look. Consider one of her paintings, and I know you'll love them. I, every time I pick them up, I'm just, I can't believe that I still have them in our gallery and they're not in someone's forever home. I hope you have a good day. Um, join us Friday for our virtual artist talk. It's going to be with Corey McCrory and uh, Julie Devers. Uh, we had a fun time talking. I always learn something from these gals. Um, and Julie and Corey had fun talking to each other. So join us and uh, have a happy 4th of July. Be safe. Bye.